This is the real time rules. Let me show you two different ways of solving this. Um, the first way is they give you a bunch of so this geometric construction is is uh, it's overly complex. What they're basically saying is I have a triangle and uh, I have a triangle and each of the sides meets certain criteria. So one of the sides, side AC, for example, is the sum of the radius of circle A and the radius of circle C. So I'm that just I'm going to rec record this in a in an algebraic equation. So I'm going to say A, which is the radius of A, plus C, which is the radius of C, equals 5. And I'm going to say A plus B equals 7. And I'm going to say uh, B plus C equals 9. Right? That's, that's basically what they tell you. That is three variables and three equations. So you can totally solve this using um, linear combination. Right? So if you have a matrix function on your calculator, you bop, 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 plug them all in, boom, it's going to tell you the answer, right? Um, they ask for what? The radius of circle A? Yeah, you just plug it all in, you read out the answer for A, that's the answer. Um, if you don't have matrix math and you want to calculate the sort of like the old-fashioned algebra way, what you can do is substitution. So you could say A equals um, 5 minus C. Let's plug that in for A here. So you'll get 5 minus C plus B equals 7. Right, so now we have two equations and two variables. We've got two equations with C and B. So we can solve this one for B, say B equals 9 minus C. Plug that in up here, and you'll get 5 minus C plus 9 minus C equals 7. You solve that for C, and you'll get your, you'll get your answer for C. So let's actually let's just do it. Um, 5 minus 2C plus 9 equals 7. So 5 plus 9 is 14. Uh, 7 equals 2C. So C equals 7 halves. So there's one of your answers. And you can start plugging these back in to get the other answer. So if you plug them in, um, what you'll find is, say you plug C into this equation, that's the one you'd want to plug into, it'll tell you that A is 3 halves. But here's another way you can solve it, a uh, faster way, a way that I like, which is, um, let's just pick numbers and, and try it out and see what happens. So the answer choices are pretty spread out. We've got 1, 2, 7 halves, 11 halves. This is, uh, they're pretty far apart. So let's, uh, let's try to shoot the moon. Let's try to take the easiest one, plug it in, and see, see what happens. So if I plug 1 in for A, we know A and C have to sum to 5, so that must mean C is 4. Well, if C is 4, that must mean that B, since this has to be 9, is 5. right? So if B is 5 and A is 1, this length is 6. And you see how 6 and 7 don't match? What that means is that the answer uh, 1 is the wrong length for A. And in fact, A is too small. Right? We need to be A, a to be bigger so that C can be smaller, so that uh, B can be bigger. Right? That's the, whole, that's the whole point here. So we know that 1 is too small. So let's try a different color. Um, what do we got left? Um, orange. OK. Now let's try 2. That's the other easy number. If I put 2 in for A, C would have to be 3, right, to make them sum to 5. If C is 3, then uh, B would have to be 6. But if B is 6 and A is 2, that's 8. That's way too big. Not way too big. It's too big. 8 is bigger than 7. So 2 is too big. Well, if 1 is too small and 2 is too big, the answer must be 3 halves. So I solved it without having to do any equations or sub, like double substitution or anything like that. Right? 7 is too big because 2 is too big. 11 halves is too big because 2 is too big.